America, I'm Rob Finnerty. The Omicron variant is scaring people, but maybe unnecessarily. Is there reason for concern right now? Yes, of course. But are we maybe overreacting? And what does that mean for our fragile economy? Joining us now for more on this is the founder and owner of the stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. So nice to have you on the show. Good to see you. Good morning. Um, okay, so the Dow lost 400 points yesterday. Um, it was down about four uh, percentage points in the month of November. We had a big sell-off Friday when we first heard about this Omicron variant. Uh, you've got to think the administration has got to say, hey, wait a second, maybe we pump the brake and do a little more research before we start frightening uh, the markets right now and, and our economy, which is largely based on what the stock market does, uh, so we don't scare people into hysteria and hurt what is right now a very fragile recovery. What do you make of that? I think it's a little late for saying not scaring people because the administration has been scaring people ever since they uh, started at the beginning of 2021. All of these mask mandates uh, and the vaccine requirements for people. Listen, as far as the market goes, the market has had an extremely bullish move up this year, 2021. So all of the selling that you've seen, the selling yesterday, the selling you saw Friday, and actually the selling yesterday was more extreme than the selling Friday. Right. It is profit taking. People are up money. So they are taking profits before the end of the year because they're scared. I think the month of December is gonna be not necessarily straight down for the market, but it's gonna be a really choppy ride for people. I don't think we're gonna make new highs at this point after the big sell-off we had yesterday before the end of the year. And again, this is a whole entire month of trading. So that is gonna to continue to scare people if we continue lower even today. Now we're up slightly this morning, I wanna say this. Right. We're up slightly this morning, but we're falling as we speak. Yeah, so exactly. So we can actually open lower in the next two hours because it's only 7.30 and the market doesn't open until 9.30 a.m. Right, we'll get that opening bell in a couple of hours. Uh, it was, you know, I'm looking at the, the NASDAQ yesterday, it's down almost two points. I mean, that's, that's, that's or you know, that's pretty significant, 2% rather. Um, you know, people are in December is always a month to your point where we see a lot of sell off. Um, but I, I'm wondering what you think this Omicron surge and, and basically the, the main the, the hysteria surrounding it right now, what that'll do to inflation. Inflation right now over six percent. That's the highest it's been in 30 years since 1990. Right. Well, Jay Powell, which is the Fed chairman, and he's going to continue th into the 2022. Uh, he said finally this week to take away the word transitory inflation. I never believed that to begin with. And the administration still saying transitory inflation. That absolutely is not true. We're already past that point. It's been for the last six plus months, and it's going to continue into 2022. And that as well is scaring people because especially if they have money in retirement accounts, especially if people are near retirement age, they don't want to lose the money that they're up in profit. So right. do I think the market's going to hold the uptrend? Probably yes. But that's a long way down, even if we hold the uptrend. So I think that this is an overreaction. It always is an overreaction. But because the government, again, has pressed so many mandates, like yesterday I watched Fauci in that briefing. It was like deja vu watching him talk again back right. to March of 2020, thinking, oh, my God, are they actually going to shut down air travel? Are they actually going to do this? Boeing's a big airline stock. That crashed yesterday, terrible sell-off yesterday in Boeing. Some of these things can't handle it. We're back to cruises uh, coming into here, the city here in Manhattan. I can see them from my window. God forbid if they stop again. Those stocks crashed again yesterday. Carnival Cruises, RCL, all of them yeah, fell. Yeah, no, was People down. People want to go on vacations, getting into the holiday, and this could prevent people and making decisions, deciding not to fly, not to travel. That would be bad for these companies. It's so bizarre. Dr. Fauci, he, he might know things about vaccines and medicine. He knows nothing about liberty. He knows he's not an economist. Um, and this man is still, it's, it's unfathomable to me that he's still setting public health policy. Um, two things I, I want to cover uh, quickly. We're going to get the jobs numbers yesterday, or tomorrow rather, for the month of November. Um, and, and, you know, unemployment has been trending down. Uh, and that's a good sign. But we've got this weird dichotomy right now. 11 million jobs available, roughly 7 million unemployed. We normally don't see that. Why do you think that's happening? Well, one of the reasons that the job, uh, the unemployment rate has ticked down is because they stopped the extra supplemental bonus. Remember, that was going on and then it ended at the end of September. So people now are being forced to go back to work. I think a lot of people were choosing not to work for two reasons. One, they were scared of the virus. And two, they were getting lots of extra money, unemployment money from the government. Plus this year in 2021, think about the bonuses, the stimulus that people have gotten. Some people have gotten four stimulus checks and people now to the end of the year are getting yeah. $300 yeah. a month per child. So I think all of this extra government funding has helped people stay out of work, but that's bad for the economy. We need 
need people to go back to work. One of the reasons we've had a slow in production of getting out goods and services, there's there not enough truck drivers. Uh, we need people to get back to these jobs. It helps the economy run. It helps deliver the goods and services to everything that we use. That number is very important tomorrow morning. It's supposed to come in at 4.5 percent. If God forbid, for some reason, it's over 5%. The market is not going to react well to that. Yep. If it ends up coming in good, that's great. But still, like you said, there's so many jobs out there. Why aren't people going back to work yet? I'm with you. It's too much stimulus money being paid out by the government, and, and that's a problem. And we've got to keep an eye on that, that possible government shutdown tomorrow night at midnight. Uh, Melissa Armo, enjoyed the conversation. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, a lot more to come on Wake Up America this morning. By the way, don't forget to download our